England, what is going on? It's so hot now. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the lies parents told us as kids. Now some of these might be relatable, some of these might not, but I'm just going off just what I got told as a kid, the lies I believed. But if you do enjoy this video, then please leave it a like. If this video does get a lot of support, or, or if you do like it, then I'll do the types of things teachers lie to us about. Teachers lie a lot. <laughs> but let's go. So I've got down on my, uh, on my device, a lot of things that parents lie to us about, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you some. So, the first lie that I got told as a kid is, if I didn't go to sleep on the night of Christmas, Easter, or when I lost a tooth, then the tooth fairy wouldn't come, Santa wouldn't come, or the Easter bunny wouldn't come. So, I was forcing myself to go to sleep, just so. <laughs> I thought that they would come. That's the biggest lie. That's probably the most relatable one. Like, I was forcing myself to go to sleep just so they would come. Well, actually, it was just like, it was just my mum and <laughs> Little disclaimer, if you're age 10 or below, I'm lying, okay? Your parents tell the truth. Next one I've got on my, uh, on my list is, it won't hurt, I promise. Now, I was told this so many times when I was a kid. It won't hurt, I promise. Yeah, they say it won't hurt, I promise, and then, what, two seconds later, I'm screaming of pain? Wankers. That is, that, that is just so tragic, like... <laughs> getting a splinter. Getting a splinter, right? And you go and ask your mum and dad to get out or something like that, right? And they're ready to get it out, they've got like a pin and everything, and they're like, it won't hurt, I promise. But as soon as they dig that pin in, or they squeeze your finger together, you're, you're, you're crying. You're, but it won't hurt, I promise. And promise, promise is a strong word. If I promise something, and they're promising me that it won't hurt, but it always does hurt. The next one I've got on my list is, if you pull a silly face when it's windy, your face will stay like that for the rest of your life. Oh, it hurts my brain. Like, thinking back at it, it what? I was just such an idiot to believe that. Right, so, whenever it was windy, and I'd be, I'd be silly, I'd be like pulling faces, like, my mum would be like, if you pull that face, your face will stay like that for the rest of your life. I don't want my face to stay like that for the rest of your life. But I didn't know she was lying, so, like, it's just, I don't know, like, even like, <laughs> even when, Someone, someone will be making me laugh and it's windy. I won't laugh because I think my face will just stay like that for the rest of my life. We're just, we're just so delusional. We're just so, when we're kids, we're just so like innocent and, and oblivious to just these things. Just look back at him, which is like, you're a dickhead. Like, what are you doing? The next one, and this still happens to me right now. I fall for it. Like, I just do fall for it. It's your dinner's ready. Your dinner's ready. Your dinner is ready. Ready! It's not, it's not, it's not ready. It is just not ready. My mum will call me down for dinner. She'll be like, oh Liam, dinner's ready. I'll be doing, I'll be like, oh, right, I'll come down in a minute. She'll be like, no, come down now because your dinner is ready. Is it Is it fucking ready? No. It's still in the oven. It's still in the oven. This has happened to me for literally like, since I've been born, your dinner's ready. It's, it's not ready. It, mum, it is just, it just isn't ready. Call me down when it's on the plate, but it, <laughs> that's the biggest lie. From now, from now, when she does that, I'm just not doing it. Mum, if you're watching this, stop lying. Why are you lying to me? The next one I've got <laughs> is if you used to swallow chewing gum, or if you swallow chewing gum, it'd stay in your system or in your inside you, in your stomach, for seven years. No, it doesn't. I've been chewing chewing gum for how long? <laughs> I don't know, since I'm like seven. And I'm not gonna lie, I have swallowed it literally. I've swallowed my chewing gum probably every time. I'm quite lazy. If I don't chuck it away, I just can't bother putting it in the bin, so I just swallow it. But I would have a lot of chewing gum in my stomach right now. Probably would kill me. I'm not gonna lie. Struggles of literally just living in like a house with just such a busy road. Like there's just cars everywhere. But yeah, that's another lie that we were all told when we were little. Now the last one that I've got, and this is probably the oh, it just hurts my brain when I think about it. It just does. It just really does hurt my brain. It's when the ice cream van goes past your house and the song's playing a little song thing. There's no ice cream. I got told that if the f***ing van goes past and the song is playing, that means they have run out of ice cream. <sighs> they've ran out of ice cream. They've ran out. Oh my god, it just hurts. Like, they are... But I fell for it. I missed out. I have missed out on so much ice cream in my life. Just from them lying to me that the ice cream has ran out. Ran out. Ran out. Why? Like, now I think about it. What the f***? 
I don't believe that. It just, oh, it's just annoying. They just couldn't be bothered to buy us ice cream when the van is just on your road. And their excuses just ran out. Oh, I just don't know, it just hurts. We're, we're, we're all victims. We're all, we've all just been lied to for so long. Now we're old enough to realize that they're dickheads. No, I'm joking, I don't know that. Ah. I'm not even joking, yeah? It's not even mums and dads, like parents, all the time. But your nan and granddad get on it as well. They think they're all clever, lying to you. They ain't clever at all, mate. It's annoying. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please, could you leave a big, fat thumbs up, as that would be great. If you've never seen my face before, and you like it, you might not. If you like, I'm joking. If you like the content that I make, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that big red subscribe button, as it does mean a lot. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you comment down below that you did enjoy it, and maybe I'll make a, the types of things teachers lie to us about, because they're little bastards as well. If you didn't relate to any of these, maybe you did relate to some, maybe you didn't, then why don't you tell me the types of things your parents lie to you about when you were a kid, as I am intrigued to know. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you next video. Next. I'll see you next week with another video.